Alright, so I'm just making this quick update video just to let you know that there might be a few more graphics cards coming out this year in case you're in the hunt for a new GPU and there might also be price drops on specific GPUs in upcoming months because of this. So with AMD's launch of Sun 2 Horizon 3000 series, AMD also dropped a thin lineup of graphics cards on the very same day, July 7. So two products on the very same day, we got the 7 nanometer Sun 2 Ryzen as well as the 7 nanometer Navi graphics cards on the 7th day of the month, 7th month in the calendar and it seemed like this day was an important day for AMD and looking back at it in hindsight, I'm not gonna lie, I think it created a bigger impact for the company as a whole and it was a pretty good release day. Sure, there weren't that many CPUs available at launch but things are finally starting to look a bit brighter, however Navi didn't seem to have that same level of impact and excitement as Ryzen had and to no surprise perhaps, but adding a few more graphics cards to the lineup later on now that Ryzen is out might give Navi a bit more of that exposure that I think it honestly deserves. Anyway it seems like AMD is not finished with Navi on 7 nanometer yet and we weren't sure whether AMD was gonna give us even more graphics power this year or not as Lisa Su the head of AMD didn't really give us that much information but recent rumors have made it clear that Navi might get a few more family members pretty soon and a high end Navi card might be real after all that could once and for all threaten Nvidia and the Turing architecture in the higher end. Now this is what Take Power Up is reporting. So AMD's president and CEO Dr. Lisa Su was talking during AMD's Q2 earnings Q&A conference and got asked a few questions. When prompted about high end Navi GPUs, Dr. Su answered with, I would say that they are coming. You should expect our execution on those are on track and we have a rich 7 nanometer portfolio beyond the products that we have already announced in the upcoming quarters and these answers give us the hope that more powerful Navi GPUs might come later this year guys and this is mighty excitement news as we do not really have any competition for the higher end touring architecture right now. What is she talking about really? It could mean that there might just be an RX 5800 and an RX 5900 and even XT variants available for both those models and the RX 5800 is supposed to utilize the Navi 12 GPU and as for the RX 5900 we still don't know what GPU AMD might use here. Now I have been promising Radeon RX 5700 and benchmark videos for you guys and I am going to deliver on this but yeah, last couple of days and weeks I should say have been crazy where I have been doubling down on Ryzen and as you can expect when it comes to testing hardware and tech in general, you run into all sort of troubles all the time, unexpected errors, sometimes taking awful amount of time. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I'm planning on making several interesting videos on AMD Navi and possibly even take a greater look at the possible RX 5800 and the RX 5900, the full scale Navi, if you guys would find that interesting. Now obviously we don't know if this is going to happen or not so you have to take all these rumors with a small grain of salt of course. Anyway I am going to keep you guys covered here whether these rumors turn out to be reality or not. Exciting things are happening regardless. Now I'm gonna be back with a brand new video in a day or two. Until then have an awesome day right?